Mmm, that's the snag. Oh, I got him. He was just running. River rats, I'm not good at very many things. and I'm even worse when I'm hungry. And right now I'm pretty hungry. So we're gonna try and hopefully catch something to eat. And any luck, we'll catch some, one of my favorite things to eat that most people don't eat. So let's go. If we're being honest, I'm not really all that picky. Just kind of want to get something. This fried fish sounds real good. Do have some good bait to catch a variety. Some nice fresh shads. I'm just going to toss them out and let them sit on the bottom. Might throw a jig around, might throw a spinner around. We will see. This convenient cinder block rod holder just chilling right here. Mostly throw head chunks because uh, I don't want them to get pecked off of there. Huh, she's deep. I accidentally, I didn't think through my shad placement. Put shad on my sitting bucket. Might let the slime dry off. Oh. And one jump up and say hello. That was not by the rocks. Let's try that again. Well, we'll leave it there. See what happens. Now the waiting begins. As I wait on my sitting bucket. Oh, just had an idea. Take the lid off. <sighs> That's prime. Ooh, we got a bite. Do I have him? The drag slipped. Well, that was fast. It's fighting. It's actually fighting decent. Channel rat. That looks like dinner if I ever saw it. That'll do. Let's get the stringer. Oh, we're getting another nibble. That looks possibly more of what I'm looking for. Channel cat will do though. Well, I didn't realize it was supposed to be this windy today. Oh. I really like these soft rods. Been trying a bunch of different ones. And then I'm digging those. Is he on there or what? Yep, he is. Feels very similar to the other fish on the stringer. Yep. Little fiddler dude. I don't know if I'm gonna keep you. You're just a little small. Yeah, I'll let you go. A lot of them in this river. Okay. My bucket is a little rocky, which makes sense because the spot's a little rocky. Another nib. Got a nib on the other one now. Nibblers be nibbling. Ugh, he got me up off my bucket. Now I'm gonna sit back down on my bucket. Yeah. Very ungracefully sit down on my bucket. Oh, and I'm back up off the bucket. Getting plenty of exercise this morning. My fishing calisthenics. Okay, they're toying with my emotions. Well, we got two of them at the same time. I don't know what to think right now. Pull it down, buddy. He's toting it around. 
might be what I'm really hoping for. Okay, we got whatever it is. It's running hard, actually. It's actually fighting pretty darn good. Another kitty. White bass. Drum. White bass. We're getting the variety platter. He probably swallowed it, too. You will work. Not what I expected to catch, but... I ain't mad about it. They'll definitely eat some cut bait every once in a while. At least once. Yeah, he hit it different than the cats did. And then he fought different. And he swallowed it, so he's like... He's like prime candidate for eating. Football Fury. Fun, even on the catfish gear. Ah, ah, ah. They also have really sharp gill plates. Okay. Lunch on the stringer. I dig it. Also need a hook. Got a hook. About to be back in the game. And I'll level with you. We probably aren't going to keep anything else unless we get what I really want to catch, which is a gar. I haven't eaten one of them this year. And not that many people eat them. I mean, people do. Not very many around here. And I promise you, they are good. They don't taste anything like most other fish that I've eaten. Different texture, but great flavor. And hopefully we get one. As far as hooks to use for gar, because they are hard to hook, I'm using little trebles. But I have had just about as much success with like a four-out circle. They're just hard to hook. Get about 100 gar bites for every one I hook anyway. Now I know you can use the rope and the... I've done the, the loopy, the wire loop, and that actually does work pretty good. But I don't have any wire. I don't have any rope. If we don't get them here, I know there's a million of them down there. So we'll go on a little walk if we have to. Mm, there's more nibs. All right, I'll get up. I'm gonna come playing musical chairs, kind of. Musical fishing rods. Maybe I should move my chair closer. Okay. Now, yes. Now we're talking. Got whatever it is. Bigar. Maybe. Nope. A drum. Another delicious fish that nobody eats. We're running quite the program, the variety pack program. He was hooked in a way that he is not going to survive, so we'll put him on a stringer, I guess, too. Not a bad deal, because they're pretty good. Three fish, three different species is kind of neat, though. All right, now hopefully we can get a guard. Oh, I didn't hit like a gar. Oh, oh. Didn't hit like a gar either. That's hitting like a cat. Okay. That's definitely not a gar. But it's pretty fun fishing. Especially on the light rods. Just sitting on my bucket, reeling in fish. Not so bad. Hey, kitty. That's a nicer one. Yeah, nice cat. See ya.
Oh, he jumped. He was excited. Get him, buddy. This is funny how when you try to catch a gar, it's hard to catch a gar. When you want to catch a catfish, gar easy. This isn't the primest of gar locations, but I figured there would be one here. I'm sure there is. I think it's time we go for a walk. Things chilled out here. There's gar around and they're hungry at all. Don't take very long. And we haven't caught any gar and everything else quit biting too. I wonder how many times I've walked up and down these rocks. Do you want to call them rocks? A lot. <laughs> Made it through the hardest section. And we're not home free quite yet, but it's not quite as treacherous. I had one shift under my foot. That was almost real bad, but ended up being okay. Okay, I think that is, well, we'll see. We ain't there yet. Okay, okay. 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 Much easier. I don't know if I'll take the rocks back or the woods. I really don't want poison ivy. That's the kicker. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We've just about made it. We'll get around that metal stuff. We're good. Got her. Wow. It's not the first time I've walked on them rocks like that. This is the furthest I have walked on those rocks like that. I don't think I'm gonna go that way, the way back. Try and get a gar. I don't see any, not a good sign. It's also not gar weather. They like it hot usually, but it's the weather we got. Could be some catfish here, but uh, oh, there was a gar. And I just bumped a gar on the way down, or maybe he followed the bait and tried to eat it. I don't know. Where do I put my rod though? Try this. Oh, we'll try this. For a little bit. I don't want to get too close to them. Wow, there's that. They're everywhere. Are they hungry? They are always hungry, right? I got them for the moment. It's what we're looking for. Can I keep them out of the other lines and can I keep them on the hook? That is the question of the day. Stay on here, buddy. You're nice. Got him right on the end of this snoot by the looks of it. Come here. Well, we got him on the bank. Mission accomplished. And it didn't take 100 bites. It took seven. Not bad. Nope. Oh, nope, oh, he's getting away. He's getting away. There's no good way to grab these things. Either. And he's gone. We had a gar. Bummer. Well, we'll try it again. <laughs> He carried it a good long ways. He's toting it around in his mouth right now. Can feel him chewing on it. He might have just dropped it. Nope. Well, if he did drop it, he came right back. Oh, whiffed him. I know there are better ways to catch Gar. This is how I'm doing it. Mm, that's 
past the snag. Oh, I got him. He was just running. Okay. Hopefully you're hooked good. No, you're not. We're going to flip you up here and hopefully you'll stay here this time. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. We'll go a little higher. I think I'm going to deposit you directly into the bucket. So hopefully we don't have the same problem we had earlier. An escape, escapee. You know what? You can keep that hook on you too. Actually, no, I want that out. That gar kind of beat me up pretty good. <laughs> but I feel like that is the most unconventional stringer I've had in a while. Not ever, but for a while. So yeah, I got them bleeding out right now and I'll toss them in the bucket and we're gonna go eat them. Welcome to my garage. I decided that uh, I have enough of a mess out here to clean up, so I might as well keep the mess outside. So I'm gonna just fry a fish on the bed of my pickup truck. Thought about cooking them at the river, but I walked through a patch of poison ivy and figured I'd better get in the shower if I'm you know, gonna be smart, which it's hard sometimes, but I think I mustered it this time. Okay, I decided we're gonna do a little bit of a Pepsi challenge type deal. Have all the fish in their own separate baggies and we're gonna cook them like one at a time. So we'll go catfish, drum, white bass, gar, and then I'm gonna serve them to Ella. It's funny how anytime I video outside, there's always somebody mowing. But yeah, I'm gonna fry them up one species at a time and give them to Ella and see what she thinks is the best. Okay, catfish in the breading. She's smoking. Some of that might be from like stuff on the bottom of the skillet too though. So that's the catfish. And then after that is the drum. One of my favorite things about fried fish other than the fact that it's really good is that it cooks really fast. Yeah, fish is just about done. Back that fire off just a smidge. Things are burning. The drum is done. Definitely tuck that in its own little corner. We got the white bass. All these fish were cleaned and put on ice right away, which is really important. At least as soon as I got back to the truck, they were cleaned and put on ice. Okay, the gar are all breaded as well. My hands are nice and Frank's Red Hotty. I enjoy turning nouns into adjectives. Final round's going. Exciting. I know gar is a much more common thing to eat in the south. They just chunk it up and call it gar balls, which I find very entertaining. But yeah, up here in the Midwest, nobody's eating them. They're everywhere. And I find them delicious. We'll see what Ella thinks. That'll be the true tell. Okay, she's all done. And I do know what everything in here is, so... That'll skew my perception, maybe. That's catfish. It's really good. This is drum. Also very good. This is white bass. Skips yelling at me. White bass is definitely my least favorite so far. 
in the gur. The gar is definitely the most unique. That was kind of a gamey piece. Must not have got enough red meat off of it, but still really good. Let's go see what Ella thinks. Come on down. You ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. How many? Do we have four, five? Four. So you have to eat four pieces of fish. Okay. All right, first one, that one. Okay. Is this random selection? Doesn't sound like it. Nope. Yay or nay? I like it. Okay. Okay, number one. Okay, that one. Hmm. This one's a little more firm. Okay. Better or worse? I... Comparable? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, now try... And... This one has a... I think this one might be a little fishier. Okay. I don't know. I, I like them both. Okay. That one's just a little more firm. Okay. It's fish number three. This one's probably my least favorite. Mm. It's like the firm texture is between these two, but it just doesn't have like as nice of a flavor okay. as the others. And the last one. I think that's a good piece. It's a little soggy. I think I know which one this is. What do you think? Well, let me comment on the, the flavor is, is really good. This actually feels like a... Food critic food session. <laughs> I actually like this. I mean, it's firm, so if you don't like firm fish. Which one's your favorite? I think this one's gar. Which one's your favorite? Mm. So it's probably... The first one is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then... This one's my least favorite. Okay. That was number three. So we'll put that last... And then these ones are tied. Interesting. So I think that one's the gar. Oh. <laughs> I think the, that number four was the gar. It's gar. I think this one was catfish. Nope. Then it was this one. Nope. Really? It was this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So catfish, drum, white bass, gar. Mm. We should do this again. I this kind is, of enjoyed it. This was fun. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of on board with that. Catfish are definitely my favorite of all of those. Drum's surprisingly good, and so is gar. White bass, a lot of people eat them, but I'm not a huge fan, but they make a good fish taco. Kind of masks the fishier flavor, but it's all going to get ate, and it's all good, and it's all cool to go catch your own groceries. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, leave me let me know in the comment section. I I've never done one quite like this. I've done a lot of catching cooks, but this was kind of fun. So let me know. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.